Hey, Yarek here and welcome to Amberscape. Few months ago I visited red clay sand quarry in Lithuania in hopes to find some Cretaceous period fossils. I did find a bunch of concretions that contained fossils, but 90% of them contain only tiny specimens like shells, brachiopods and some beautiful gastropods and so on. The bright side is that I love these tiny fossils and I do collect them as well. The issue is the extraction of these fossils from Matrix. They are small and fragile and it's not worth keeping the big chunk of Matrix with, with tiny fossil in it. And so today I will try to extract some of these tiny fossils out of rock and add them to my collection. And this is the result. We have a bunch of tiny fossils like this tiny ammonite and some other gastropods which I will try to extract and add them to my microfossil collection. At the end I will show you all I have. And maybe we will, we will even do some photos with the microscope so they are bigger and more beautiful. Okay, so which one gonna be first? I'm not sure, but let's go. Um, the worst one will be first one to warm up a bit. First one is a success. It's not a great one, but I did remove it pretty nicely. Okay, to the side. I'm sorry for moving fossil so much. It does hard watching experience, but when piece is so small, I can't keep it in one place when working. But extraction of this tiny gastropod is also a success. So that happened with the best gastropod I had. From engraver's vibration, a rock did split in few pieces, destroying the fossil in the process. And that does happen sometimes. I haven't recorded this one popping from the matrix, but I did extract it as well. 
will show photos at the end of the video. In this concretion, there's a little bit of an ammonite poking out of the rock, but Matrix on the side looks super weathered by the sun. I don't have much hopes for this to turn out into nice specimen. Matrix was extra hard in this one, decided to equip chisel tip to remove it faster. Yeah, so this one is also unfortunate, I wasn't hoping a lot from it, yeah, as a lot of them it's, it had empty in middle which crumbled inside. So that's unfortunate. Another thing, it has crushed its side uh, because it was too close to the surface. Other than that, this shell is nice from this side, but uh, I decided not to continue prepping this one. Yeah. It missing too much, too much. If at least the side would, would be, you know, full, I would finish it, but right now, uh, I'm not even sure if I will keep it, to be honest. I'm a little bit disappointed. Oh well. That's about it. I did extract all the small fossils that I managed. I did destroy a few of them because they are very fragile and the vibration from the Dremel, you know, they make them break, basically. So about 30% I did destroy. That's what survived. Basically we have three ammonites in here. Two of the same species, not sure about the third one. We have three nice gastropods and three some sort of bivalves as well as this bigger piece of not complete ammonite but there is a small one which is complete near it and I, yeah I did keep this one uh, this piece uh, the crushed ammonite uh, but yeah just because the other the side has a nice negative of, of the ammonite on it and this is the rest of my small fossils collection which i'm really proud of it's not big but it's growing i have some nice stuff here some algae uh, small colony of uh, helicytes coral a tiny piece of trilobite bunch of brachiopods gastropods uh, two ammonites and this one is very nice This thing, this thing is quite special. This is teeth of an amphibian from, you know, some sort of creature that was related to Tiktaalik. So yeah, these teeth are very cool. And yeah, now let's make some photos to see our freshly added to tiny fossils <laughs> to the collection. Yeah, so let's inspect them under some nice magnifications. So for that I will need a microscope. I bet some of you will agree with me that under proper magnification these tiny babies looks as impressive as big versions of them. I think this tiny fossil super cute, let me know in the comments if you like small fossils as much as I do. And yeah, that will be it for the video, 
if you enjoyed it, smash that like button, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already for more fossil related content. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!